what's going on guys my name is Zeke and welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial I've got a kind of a quick tutorial today as well uh, and uh, if you missed any of my previous Sony Vegas and GIMP tutorials I ha I'll have a link in the description so go make sure and go check them out and uh, yeah so in this video guys I want to show you how to add images in the video and how to make them transparent for example if you want to make a logo or a watermark on your video uh, we're gonna take a look at that in this video so uh, first of all what you want to do of course if you have to get your watermark prepared your logo or whatever it is here uh, in in the timeline I've got a black ops 2 gameplay it's really not about the gameplay so it's about the logo so first thing you want to do is of course add a video track so you add a video track there you go if you don't know how to do it just go to just press the <clears throat> the right button on your mouse and you'll have insert video track and insert audio track you want to insert a video track so uh, now what you want to do is open up your there we go uh, open up your logo so I would recommend going for PNG logo but uh, if you don't have one then that's completely fine you know um, so you wanna get your logo let me just find it there you go emblems and logos and here is it so you can have a PNG one which means there is no background it's just a logo or you can have the one with a white background both of them will work out just fine so here it is so you can just make it as tall as you want but in this case we're doing kind of a watermark so if you want it to be a watermark then you want it to be as uh, you want it to be throughout the whole video so nobody can you know so everyone can see that this is your video so now you see it is it is it is very big we don't want it that way so what you want to do is you want to press um, you're gonna have here event pan and crop so in the right hand side in the very end of the video and of your logo uh, you'll have this event pan and crop this kind of a square here or what you can do is right click your logo on this timeline again as you can see right click it here and there is going to be a video event pan crop so you want to press that you're going to get um, this little menu here so as you can see your logo is here you just can move it however you want now as you can see if you move to the right side or to the left side up or down no actually it's just to the right and left side your logo kind of disappears it doesn't go any further it's like it's like there's a wall there and to prevent that from happening because let's say I want my logo to be in the top right corner here or in the left one bottom whatever you want guys so you gotta right click on your image here and you gotta press match output aspect there we go now you can move it whatever you want so now the thing is you have to make it as small as possible and to make it smaller you have to go to these um, uh, little squares around uh, your logo and just drag them let me just make it as small as possible alright then let's find a different one so this is this is kind of big I want it to be even more smaller uh, maybe even more small actually no this is good this is good you can do it however you want guys but here let's just drag it up here it's, it's really simple guys it's, it's really not that hard this is where I'm usually gonna put my emblem and uh, once you're done with this you can close it alright so now when you go through a video I should turn that down the sound actually yeah so as you can see your your logo is there and that's pretty nice alright maybe you wanna make it a little bit smaller maybe you don't it, it's, it's up to you guys so so now the next thing you want to do guys to make it transparent um, it's actually really simple so uh, you want to go to your video effects so here you have project media explorer transitions 
and video effect. So you want to go to this video effects bar. Uh, here it is in the left kind of section of the of your menu, and you want to search for chroma keyer. So this is the effect that you're going to be using to make uh, your logo uh, look transparent. So you have chroma blur, channel uh, blend. Uh, this is this is really not the thing. So you want to go for chroma keyer. So and you want to you just want to go to this d default here and you want to drag it to your logo. There you go. So now I get this uh, little menu here. And uh, it's really simple. Everything you have to do here is just really simple. So go to your color, turn it white. Then you have this low trash shot. Uh, just keep it somewhere in the middle. Then we have high trash shot. That that should be to the maximum. And and here is the blur that uh, that we all needed. So I think we just we can turn this. To the minimum, yeah. Turn this one to the minimum so there is like no black, uh, nothing black around it, and uh, just just play however you want to do it, and show marks only. Oh, that's no, that's not needed. Yeah, guys. So as you can see, it just it just looks transparent and kind of cool. If you don't want it to be transparent, you want it to be kind of as it is, then you can keep it. So yeah, you're gonna keep the low threshold to the maximum. Uh, this high threshold to the minimum and the blur amount to the maximum. And uh, once you once you're done, you can just close it. And as you can see, the video is running perfectly. Uh, it it is so simple. It is just so easy. By the way, in this video, when I upload this video, I'm gonna edit this. Uh, <clears throat> this emblem is gonna be there as well. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Sony Vegas is pretty simple. Once you learn everything. It's not going to be that hard and you can just do it easily. So guys, yeah, please make sure to leave a like on this video if you found it useful. Uh, subscribe for more. Check out my link in the description, guys, for more Sony Vegas tutorials. And let me know what you want me to cover in the next tutorial, guys. But hopefully you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. Peace out. Hee <laughs> hee